guys, welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. I am back with another Disney World for beginners videos, but actually this particular video might be helpful for even those of you who have been to the parks before, because tonight we are gonna talk about character meals and any sort of kind of fun themed meals for kids. And I don't just mean those little kids, I'm talking the kids at heart as well. I am actually gonna go over all the current character meals that are on property right now. I'm gonna break them down by park. And there are three new meals that are coming out real soon that are character meals. I'm so excited for that. So we're gonna break down the meals that, if you're headed there uh, to Disney World with your family, what meals you might be interested in getting reservations for, specifically for those kiddos, for like I said, the character meals or just some really fun themed meals that perhaps you didn't know about or you didn't know had characters. So let's break it down. But the first thing you guys need to know is Dining at Disney World has changed. It has changed since COVID. And you actually make dining reservations 60 days in advance. And you 100% need to do this because dining books fast, pretty much instantly. Certain meals are gone in seconds. So you definitely want to be on top of it. You want to have a game plan and know what you are doing. So for those of you who are staying on Disney property, you get to book 60 days ahead of time plus 10 days during your vacation. What does this mean? This means as long as your trip is 10 days or less, you get to book your entire trip's worth of dining on that one morning, that 60 day before your trip morning. You can book all of your reservations at one time. It happens online at 6 a.m. I'm talking Mickey, Florida time, of course. For those of you who are staying off property, ugh, it's a little bit more difficult for you uh, because you do get to book 60 days in advance, but for you, it's 60 days in advance each day you wanna eat dining. So essentially 60 days before your Sunday meal, 60 days before your Monday meal, 60 days before your Tuesday meal, and so on. As Disney Resort guests, you get to book their whole week's worth in that one time, which actually gives them quite the advantage because they're more likely to get some of these harder meals because they technically got to book them before off property people. So if you are looking for a reason to stay on property, if you're looking for a perk, that is one of them. But let's get into it. Are you guys ready? I absolutely love character meals and just fun themed meals in general. I will go to these meals even without my children <laughs> because I'm crazy and I love Disney and I love the characters and I will get up and hug Mickey and I will cry. It's just a thing. I know, and I'm not alone. I know many of you kids at heart do that as well. But let's start with Magic Kingdom, shall we? <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, and of course, in no particular order, guys, first one is Crystal Palace. Now, Crystal Palace traditionally has been a character meal featuring Winnie the Pooh and friends. That is Pooh Bear, Piglet, Eeyore, and Tigger to absolutely has been traditionally a buffet meal with characters. And of course, since COVID, ooh, no characters. But starting September 20th, write it down guys, September 20th, the Pooh characters will be back. That's right. So right now, today, in this moment, Crystal Palace is not a character meal, but starting September 20th, it is. Is. So that's right, guys, 60 days before September 20th, you can start scoring your character meal reservations for Crystal Palace. I'm so excited, guys. It's my daughter's favorite. Just throwing it out there. Winnie the Pooh has been her favorite since she was little, little. Next one on the docket at Magic Kingdom is Cinderella's Royal Table. Now, I do have to post a warning. Cinderella's Royal Table, although traditionally a character meal where you would go upstairs and meet all the characters, you know, all the little princesses and get your pictures taken and whatnot. Currently right now, uh, Royal Table is listed as not 
a character meal. However, it is still a fun meal for the kiddos because who doesn't want to eat in Cinderella's castle? I mean, come on, that is a once in a lifetime or maybe more than once in a lifetime opportunity. It's especially great if you take that kiddo to go to Bippity Boppity's boutique first to get her makeover, right? And then you take her to the castle to eat dinner so she can get her picture taken inside Cinderella's royal table, inside Cinderella's castle. Absolutely gorgeous. However, right now, even though it's listed as not a character meal, you can actually meet Cindy outside of the castle. Actually, she's inside the castle, she's just downstairs. So you do have to go up a few, a few stairs to actually the dining room. She meets downstairs. Uh, to guess real quick for a quick little photo opportunity. So even though it's listed as not a character meal, I think that's just Disney's way of saying it's not the character meal you're used to because you used to be able to meet Cindy and Aurora and Snow White and Ariel and Rapunzel and all the princesses were always there uh, inside the castle. Not at this time, but I am suspicious that it's coming back soon because once Bippity Boppity Boutique is in full mode, I, I don't see why Disney can't bring back all those princesses. So I'm thinking that could be a coming soon situation. But yes, currently right now you meet Cindy downstairs. You don't actually eat with any princesses at this time, but it's still a, a you know a spectacular meal. It's also heads up a costly meal. Next meal on the docket is be our guest absolutely love the atmosphere of this restaurant. Of course, who wouldn't want to eat in Beast's Castle? Each one of the dining rooms within this restaurant is designed and decorated differently to feature a different section of Beast Castle, um, including the West Wing. That's right, if you like dark and mysterious and you want to watch some rose petals fall, absolutely go eat in the West wing but the ballroom if you look at the ceiling oh, it's gorgeous it's just gorgeous it's probably one of the most gorgeous restaurants on disney property if you're asking me is be our guest i am not a fan of the cuisine it is french it's very dairy heavy and i am allergic to dairy and that's probably why but it's an amazing, beautiful restaurant. So make sure you give Be Our Guest a try. And even though that's also not listed as a character meal, Beast does tend to walk around the restaurant. Of course he does because he lives there. It's his castle. So you may score a quick little photo opportunity or a wave to Beast himself over at be our guest. But right now, the only true character meal at Magic Kingdom would be Crystal Palace come September 20th. Next up, Epcot. Ready for this? Okay, so Epcot has Garden Grill. I love Garden Grill over at the Land Pavilion. Um, they have a lunch and dinner over there featuring Chip and Dale, Mickey, and Pluto. But the best part, at least to me, about Garden Grill is it's a rotating restaurant. How many times can you say in life that you ate in a restaurant that rotated? I mean, it's super cool. You don't really feel it when you're actually dining, so don't worry about motion sickness. It's super de duper slow, but it does slowly rotate. And if you get out of your booth, out of your seat, and you kind of look over, it rotates over living with the land, which is downstairs from Garden Grill. So yes, right now Garden Grill is 100% currently a character meal over at Epcot. Next up, not a character meal, is Coral Reef. But kids absolutely love eating at Coral Reef. Why? Well, because you eat around a giant fish tank. That's right, we're talking stingrays, fish, sharks, and I've heard there's even a turtle in there, that's right. I actually just ate at Coral Reef. Make sure you guys check out that video. And I have to say 100% honestly, the meal I had was the best meal I have had at Disney in years, years. The menu item um, on the meal I could not eat. It was, you know, the chef didn't really wanna give it to me for whatever reason. So he went to his sous chef 
and they concocted something to serve me and it was phenomenal. So phenomenal that that needs to go on the menu. It was some sort of curry and rice dish with vegetables and OM goodness. It was divine. But before I keep changing the subject, Coral Reef is an awesome restaurant for kiddos because of the fish tank. If you show up a little early, you might be able to request a fish tank seat. Um, although we didn't get a fish tank seat and we could still see the fish tank pretty well. It's just obviously if you're at the fish tank, you know, the shark is right there, which is uh, pretty sweet. So that's over at Coral Reef, which is near the Nemo ride. Next restaurant at Epcot, also not characters, is Space 220. I'm sure you've heard 10,001 things about this restaurant because it is new. It has been slated to open 100,000 years ago and finally did recently, I think last year. Space 220 is an awesome restaurant for you know, basically all people, but kiddos absolutely love to stare at, um, you know, space because you do shoot up into space pretty, pretty high up there. Uh, the views out the window is indeed super cool with a bunch of space ports and astronauts and all sorts of things kind of floating out there. Uh, just note parents that uh, it's an expensive meal, like pretty pricey. So save your pennies if you're going to get reservations for Space 220. Next up, you ready for it? Animal Kingdom. Woo woo. Okay. Animal Kingdom does have a character meal, guys, and that is at Tusker House. Tusker House actually has a breakfast, lunch, and dinner right now. Um, even though they were a buffet traditionally, they are currently family style, but of course that could change at any point. But Tusker House is a great way to meet Donald, Daisy, Mickey and friends in their safari gear. They are so cute in their little safari vest and their safari hats, absolutely love it. Makes for an adorable photo over there at Tusker House. Uh, the other restaurant over at Animal Kingdom, which is also great for kiddos, is the Rainforest Cafe. Um, no characters at this location. Um, Rainforest is actually a chain restaurant, so you may have eaten here before, but the atmosphere is very kid family friendly with animatronic animals about kind of growling at you and whatnot. And they do have, um, I think it's a thunderstorm that happens every 15 to 20 minutes. Just kind of warn your kiddos in case you have um, some little scaredies out there. But it's a fun, you know, just a fun, simple Americana-like meal, you know, your burgers and fries type thing with some fun atmosphere. So if you're looking for something to kind of entertain the kiddos while you feed them, Rainforest Cafe is a good option over at Animal Kingdom. Next up is Hollywood Studios, that's right. So Hollywood Studios has a character meal as well, and it is Hollywood and Vine, and they do have characters breakfast, lunch, and dinner. However, note, Hollywood and Vine's breakfast characters are different from the rest of the day's characters. So breakfast characters are Disney Junior. If you have kids who love like Vampirina and, you know, Mickey's Roadsters and, you know, Fancy Nancy and stuff like that, that would be the time and restaurant for you come lunch and dinner and you've got Minnie and Daisy and, you know, Mickey and friends. But I absolutely love it at lunch and dinner because seasonally, Minnie and Daisy change their outfits and they could easily be in some like adorable spooky attire, some Christmas holiday attire, or they're like Hollywood best. Absolutely love it. They're constantly changing their outfits, you know, per the season over at Hollywood and Vine. But also note, starting August 28th, Hollywood and Vine is going back to buffet. So even though they are 100% characters right now, they are returning to buffet style here in a couple of weeks next month. So yes, look forward to that. So that is all four parks, but we are going to dig a little deeper and talk about Disney Springs and the resorts. So let's keep going. Next up is Disney Springs. Now, although there are several restaurants over at Disney Springs that could entertain the kiddos, two very specific ones I kind of picked out were T-Rex and another, that's right, I said another, Rainforest Cafe. 
Why are there two, two Rainforest Cafes on Walt Disney World property? Not really sure, but there are. And a T-Rex and Rainforest are owned by the same company. They are chain restaurants. But the difference, of course, is T-Rex is dinosaur themed, very scary, and I love it. And of course, Rainforest Cafe is the same one that's over at Animal Kingdoms with like your, you know, gorillas and monkeys and elephants and tigers and, you know, animals like that. But either way, it's a fun themed restaurant for those kiddos, again, with your Americana kind of like burgers and fries type food. Although not noted here, I do love Raglan Road. And even though uh, the restaurant is very sophisticated and a nice palate, I love the Irish dancers that happen over at Raglan Road. So if you have a child who loves kind of that dancing or perhaps you have kids who are actually training in, you know, Irish dance, that would be a fun restaurant for them over at Disney Springs. But a big chunk of character meals are actually at the resorts. And I'm gonna note, if you wanna eat at the meals at the resorts, anybody can do so. On property, off property, doesn't matter who you are, anyone can get a reservation for these meals um, at the Disney resorts. And for the people that always ask me, yes. If you wanna eat a meal in a theme park, you absolutely 100% need a park ticket and a park reservation if that's your first park of the day. So yes, you do need a park ticket to eat at Magic Kingdom, but you won't need any form of ticket to eat at a Disney resort. So let's get into it. So the first one on my list is Chef Mickey's over at the Contemporary. The awesome thing about this location is it's on the monorail. So if you are at Magic Kingdom for the day, you can easily hop on the monorail kick back and head to Chef Mickey's for lunch and dinner to just make your day even more magical. But Chef Mickey's is breakfast and dinner, although breakfast is kind of served rather late, so you could make it like a lunch if you wanted to. And it does feature uh, Mickey and friends. Just note, uh, I think they're still doing this even uh, with COVID, is they do kind of a little song where they take napkins and they kind of fling them in the air. Sounds great. Except if you have food allergies and you're worried about food from that napkin or someone else's napkin getting on your food. So I usually kind of quickly cover my food with a napkin. That's just a kind of a food allergy parent freak out situation. But yes, Chef Mickey's over at the Contemporary is an awesome meal for you guys to give it a try. Next up is, you ready for it? I've got the ears, you ready? Ohana, Ooh, I love Ohana. Ohana at the Polynesia. Now, Ohana reopened several months ago. Um, in fact, we ate there last Christmas, Christmas breakfast. It was a delish. My kids are still talking about that meal, but they did announce finally Lilo and Stitch are coming back for Ohana breakfast, breakfast only, by the way, September 27th. Mark it down, guys. So September 27th, Lilo and Stitch will finally be back at Ohana's for breakfast. And usually with Lilo and Stitch, Mickey and Pluto also kind of tag along. Um, they kind of have like family style food that they serve where they kind of just put a bunch of food on the table for the whole family to enjoy. And for those of you who are like me, they do have a vegan version, which is what we ate last Christmas, which is what my kids won't stop talking about. So yes, that was pretty divine for them. I'm thinking it was the donuts, but either way, happy kids, happy mom, whatever. So yeah, Ohana, Lilo, and Stitch is coming back September 27th. Next one on my list is the Topolino's Terrace. Now, this, has, this meal has been reopened since uh, COVID, and it is considered one of the nicer character breakfasts on property in terms of the cuisine. My issue with Topolino's is its location. It's located at the Riviera, which is fine, excellent resort, but it's not as easy to get to as say Ohana and Chef Mickey's, which are both on the monorail. Topolino's and Riviera are via Skyliner, which is great if you're staying at Art of Animation, you know, Pop Century, Caribbean Beach, or even staying at the Riviera, because you can just kind of hop on a Skyliner and go eat there. 
But other than that, you guys can always Uber over to Riviera and eat there. But yes, it's a great, delicious character breakfast, you know, rooftop, great views, good food, all around awesome. My only issue is getting there. So for you, for, you know, for you guys with littles and transportation isn't as convenient for you guys, maybe save that for a different trip, but yes awesome character breakfast over there at Riviera. Next up is the Cape May Cafe. That's right over at Beach Club. Now traditionally Cape May has had a character breakfast, kind of a surf and turf character breakfast with Donald and his swim trunk. So cute and Daisy and friends. Uh, that is coming back guys. Ready? Jot it down. October 4th, finally. Uh, so yes, Cape May Cafe is returning to a character breakfast, I think also with a buffet um, starting October 4th. But yes, it's just another way to meet those characters, but I love that they're in different outfits. I think that's my favorite part, is knowing that you can meet Donald at Tusker House and he's in a safari gear, and then sometimes you can meet him at Hollywood and Vine and he's in like a tuxedo. Then you can meet him at Beach Club and he's in his swimsuit. I mean, come on, absolutely love it. So adorable, but yes, Cape May Cafe, October 4th write it down. And the nice thing about this particular location is Beach Club is really close, close yes, to uh, Hollywood Studios and Epcot. It's closest to Epcot. So if you are have an early morning at Epcot or early morning at Hollywood, you could start your morning off at Beach Club and then walk to either one of those parks. Or you can go to the parks first and then walk over to Beach Club for like a late breakfast. And that way you're not doing too much with the transportation. I think that's my biggest thing is I wanna eat at a meal, especially with kiddos, that has easy transportation. I don't wanna to have to take 13 Ubers or 200 buses and, and transfer here and do this. I just want it easy, especially when I have kiddos. So I try to think in my planning, if I really want to eat at this restaurant, how can I make it convenient for me and the kiddos to eat there without kind of disturbing our whole day? So that's kind of how I think about it. But yes, Cape May Cafe, October 4th, Beach Club. Last one kind of on my list is Story Book Dining, which is located over at the Wilderness Lodge at Artist Point. Now this is a dinner only character meal, wait for it, featuring Snow White, the Evil Queen, Dopey, and Grumpy. This is the only meal currently where you can eat with a villain. I absolutely love it, oh my goodness. Storybook Dining does have kind of an interesting menu, so make sure you check out the menu first before you sign up the kiddos. Um, but because it's located at Wilderness Lodge, it makes it really convenient for those of you who are at Magic Kingdom for the day. So you can spend your all day at Magic Kingdom. Then you just take a ferry boat over from Magic Kingdom to the Wilderness Lodge so that you can eat at Artist Point. And like I said, Evil Queen, check, done, sign me up. And the menu is pretty, um, it's kind of themed to the characters, which I love over there at uh, Storybook Dining. So yes, those are the meals currently right now featuring characters. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I do have two meals listed that haven't reopened yet, but they're on my radar because, I mean, they just have to be coming back soon, right? So what hasn't returned yet in turn of character meals is Asker Shush, which I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but it's the princess meal over at Epcot, usually featuring several princesses. Now, this does not have a reopening date. Nina's just talking about it, but they did replace the sign. So during COVID, uh, when everything kind of opened back up, they took down the sign, so it no longer said Asker Shush, but they have put the sign back up, which has a lot of people wondering, Will there be an announcement soon? I very much hope so. But yes, this was just another princess meal. So if I couldn't get my clients into Cinderella's Royal Table, I would always then try Asker Shush because you got 
more princesses. Sometimes even I think it was Mary Poppins would show up at that meal as well. So let's keep our eyes and ears open for an announcement regarding that location. And of course, the last one on the list is 1900 Park Fair. Now that is a restaurant over at Grand Floridian. Now Grand Floridian is currently getting a makeover. So it is my thought that once that makeover is officially done, they might bring back 1900 Park Fair, which had a character breakfast and a character dinner, two completely different style meals with characters. So breakfast was like Mary Poppins, Alice, the Mad Hatter, I think even Pooh Bear stopped by uh, sometimes over there. And then for dinner, it was Cinderella, Lady Tremaine, um, hello, another villain. And of course, the stepsisters, Anastasia and Drizella. Absolutely. Oh, and sometimes Prince Charming, although he's not my favorite. It's the villains, guys. If you can't tell, Nina loves the villains. So absolutely love that meal. I surprised my daughter with that meal several years ago. And yeah, I think she cried. She doesn't cry very often, but I think she was super excited to meet Lady Tremaine and the stepsisters, which the stepsisters always crack me up. If you can catch them at Magic Kingdom, they usually hang out by the carousel. They are a hoot and I love them. But Nina loves to change the subject. Back to the subject at hand. That is uh, my list for character meals um, right now. So hopefully you, uh, you guys enjoyed this list and took some notes because uh, yeah, this is currently what I think are the good kind of special themed meals, characters or non-characters, for kiddos and families alike right now at Disney World. Of course, you wanna keep your eyes and ears open because as we're progressing out of this COVID situation, more and more things will reopen. And of course, I didn't mention it, but I'm just gonna to toss it out there because I'm just thinking about it. The hoop de doo review has uh, reopened and sometimes characters kind of pop in and out of there, but that's located at Fort wilderness it is a hootin dootin you know kind of dinner show type situation but if you can go ahead and you know take a boat from magic kingdom to fort wilderness you can have dinner over there at the hoop de doo review as well so but yeah that's my list guys pretty extensive so for those of you who don't know what meals to score for your family make sure you take some notes. But yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications, like this video and comment. So A, did I miss anything? There are definitely quick services on property that are great for kids and maybe I should do that video next. But in terms of kind of sit down table service locations, did I miss something? I even asked my kids, I'm like, hey guys, what did mama miss? But let me know if I missed something. And in that same respect, which one of you, which one of these did you eat at and just blew your minds away? Which one were your kids like, mom, I gotta eat at this restaurant every single trip? Let me know in the comments because yeah, I'm just always curious and I love trying out new things in case I missed something. But yeah, you want Nina's take? Crystal Palace, once Winnie the Pooh comes back, check, gotta do it. And I, I gotta eat with the Evil Queen. I just have to absolutely love it. <laughs> Nina's crazy, I know. But as always, guys, mahalo for watching. Nina, out. Bye.